And today is September 9th, 2013. And I'm just finishing up the download of the generally available, or the to be generally available, version of Windows 8.1. So let's get started with VMware Workstation. It also came out this week, version 10. File, new virtual machine, custom. We're going to leave it at Workstation 10 for all the latest features. Say, I will install operating system later. You'll notice there is no Windows 8.1 feature here. So we're going to go with Windows 8. Let me give this a better name. Okay, my host name followed my by description is what I like to do. We're putting this on a solid state drive to let this cruise along at a decent speed. I'll go ahead and put two processors. I got lots of memory in this laptop. I'm going to go with 4 gig of RAM and bridge networking. I like to pretend I have a 750 gig drive. It's thin provisioned, so it's only going to take up that space as needed. And I like to store everything as one file to keep it simple. And click Next. And click Customize Hardware because we need to point to the boot, the install device, the ISO file. All right, so here is the image. And connected power on is turned on. So we're now in good shape to go ahead and boot this virtual machine. So the virtual machine is obviously booting off of the ISO file we just downloaded. Now we just go through the regular install procedure. So far it looks exactly like the preview. Guess we can't really get rid of that ring. There we go. License key. So I need to take a moment to go get that. Okay, I've got the key. I'm going to go ahead and type it in. There we go. Click Next. I went with Windows 8.1 Pro. Accept the license agreement. I'm recording it on video. All the screens. There you go. I'm sure you read all that, right? And custom. Notice 750 gig drive. That's what I told it to pretend I have. And there it goes. Good time to speed up the clock, speed up time. So let me go ahead and do that. And I'll just cram this in the corner. So the install started at 6 p.m.
Okay, we're back in real time. So, type in a host name. Oh, come on. There we go. I'll use express settings. That's probably what's more common for folks. All right, I don't want to create an account. So what I find easiest to do here is type a any old thing to get past the screen. As that fails, I'm now able to say continue without a Microsoft account. That is a clickable link there. Make it kind of hard to notice that, don't I? Create a local account. That's what I want. And we're there. Six and a half minutes. We can get to the desktop. Can run task manager and see if this thing is busy. So in task manager, what do we have? Mm, not much going on. Either way, uh, it'd be good to get VMware tools installed. Now I'm looking here and I'm noticing things are pretty good already. My mouse is moving seamlessly in and out of the window. But if we look at things like Display Adapter, it's still Microsoft Basic. So we're still going to want to put VMware tools in there, but it's pretty full function without them, which is nice. Even the mouse, pretty cool. OK, so now at the bottom, click I finished installing. We run Windows Explorer. Do we have Windows tools available to us? VMware tools, excuse me. We do not. So let's go and install tools. So would the easy install wizard work? Typing in the license key in the beginning and then just kind of letting it rip? Not sure. Do a typical install of tools. So the next thing I'll demonstrate is the, the little tips and tweaks I do to a virtual machine uh, to make it behave better as a virtual machine. This doesn't matter if I'm on Windows running VMware Workstation 10 like I am right now, Windows 8 running Workstation 10, or if I'm on ESXi 5.5. Same basic ideas. Okay, so tools is installed, click finished. I'm going to say no, I don't want to reboot quite yet. I've got some more work to do. When we install Windows, it never asks us what time it is. So I like to change the time zone. And I turn off internet time. Why? Because under VM settings, options tab, VMware tools, I synchronize guest time with host there. Just the setting I prefer. Okay. What else do I like to do? I like to reveal all my icons. 
and I know what's going on in a VM, so I turn that on. And then I do power. I just hit the start button, type in power, and uh, hmm. Okay, maybe under settings we'll do better. There we go. Power options looks good to me. All right, go to change plan settings. Turn off the display never. Put the computer to sleep, which is a virtual machine never. Okay, what else do I do? I do start runs, or I can do the Windows plus R key to get the run dialog, net pl wiz.exe. And then turn off user must enter the password and apply. Open the password twice. And now we can reboot. Do it from here. We can do it from within the VM, right? Let's try the new way in the VM. So after a reboot, we should see it not ask us for a password. Getting right to the desktop or the start screen, right? We have a choice now. We can right-click on the taskbar and say, I don't want to go to the modern UI at reboot. I want to go to the desktop instead. So let's take care of that next. Okay, mouse working smoothly. Video looks good. Hit Windows plus X key. Go to Device Manager. We can see our display adapter is now VMware S3, so they installed the 3D video driver by default. That's cool. Speaking of video, whoa, let's go back to the desktop. Right click on the desktop and see screen resolution. And let's see how we do with fancier resolutions or better resolutions. Uh, let me see if I can pick one that fits in the window you're looking at. This is acting weird because I'm going, my mouse is going off the bottom there. Whoa. Okay, how about up and down arrow key? Allow screen auto rotate. That doesn't sound like something I want on. That's more a tablet function. Keep the changes, yes. There, that still fits in the recording window that you're looking at here. All right, so we now have a high-resolution res, high screen, and I promise we'll right-click on the taskbar and say Properties, and check out the options here. Okay, when I sign in or close all apps, go to the desktop instead of Start. Sure. How about show my desktop background on Start? Sure. And show Start and display when I'm using the Windows, when I press the Logos key? Sure. And then finally, show the apps to you automatically when you go to Start. No. Notice, show my desktop background and start. Watch what this does. I'm going to click OK, because when I hit the Start key now, I get the nice effect. The background stays the same, and I'm good. Another tweak that's very helpful is to hit Windows plus X, go into System, and then click on Remote Settings, and Say remote desktop, allow remote connections to this computer. And click OK. Very important. And then finally, Windows Update, make sure that's set to your liking. Let's check for updates today. September 9th. And we already have a definition update. So the settings are set to do this automatically. And when I install other Microsoft products, I tend to turn that on as well. So, we now have two more updates showing. A little strange, but okay. Let's install those as well. So it doesn't look like Windows Update is acting much different. You get to run it multiple times to really know if you're done. And 
that's done. Okay, so that concludes everything I wanted to show you on Windows 8.1 installed under VMware Workstation 10.0. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thank you for visiting tinkertry.com, and as always, your comments are greatly appreciated.